Hi, in this presentation we will study two simple Prolog implementation of SPEC systems. We will uh, review the uh, notebook component that comes in Swipe Prolog and we expect to have enough time to look at some examples of using some graphics for interaction in our Prolog programs. Um, when um, you go into the website that I recommend for the Prolog version that we're using for this class, the one that I recommend is the Swipe Prolog. There are other versions, other implementations of Prolog, but this is the one that I'm recommending. So let's go, and, and I also ask you that you can download your own, or you can try online. So let's go with the one that is online. And like I say before, um, there is a section here when you have your program, we, we, we call the knowledge base, and then uh, this is the area for your query system. So this is how you do your queries, and this is for your output. And the way that you implement your program, you click on that plus, you open a program, and then you start typing the program. For this uh, presentation, what I what we will do is there is an option here that says examples. You go where it says problem examples. And right here, so mine looks different because I opened some files that I was practicing for the presentation. So in examples, there is an option here for S per system. So you remember that option about a movie database that we were working before. And um, in, in the one that we click on the S per system, I had that open already. I have here some uh, design of a small S per system. And the idea of expert system that we were studying is that this is an, uh, uh, a human expert, I mean, we're mimicking a human expert that has some knowledge uh, in a specific area. So let's say that in this case, the expert is an expert on animal identification. So this is an expert that knows about animals. And then uh, he needs to identify maybe a given animal. And then there are, uh, remember the bad word, uh, or the forward uh, way of thinking. So in this case, this is being implemented in a way that the person has a specific hypothesis. He has an idea and says, hmm, I think the solution is tweeting. And then this is the way that it's going to be executed. So in this example here, it says how is that you can execute the, the, the program. So in this case, we want to prove this hypothesis. So prove there are multiple ways of being defined so it's gonna go from top to bottom in the program. So it's, it's a search uh, way, it's a, what we call a unification. So it's, it's good pet unifies with true, known. We had two elements, no. So here we got one element. Then we do clause, in this case, clause is gonna take the header, which is the good pet, and the, uh, and the body of good pet, that w the first one that is gonna be implemented is this one. So it's going to try, so this will be true if this is true for x in this case, in this time, case being tweety. And, um, and then if that succeeds, then we will just, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, we, 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 we finish with the, with the, with the implementation, right? We finish with proving the hypothesis and then we were right now. It is, it is uh, first interpretation of good pet fails, then we're gonna go into the second one. And then it's supposed that it's gonna look for another possible hypothesis. But in this case, we're just proving one hypothesis. In the second example, we're gonna have multiple possible hypotheses that I can test. But in this case, I had the idea of one hypothesis. So I'm thinking that this is, this is the solution and I want to prove it. So quickly, when we go with the hypothesis, we say that, I mean, the proof good pet, this is the one that is gonna be the first match. And then I say H is gonna be the this part of the predicate. So this is what we call the head. And this is what we call the body, which is B. So it's gonna call proof B. And then here is gonna match this proof that has two possible elements, B and the BS that has because it has the body has two predicates, and then it's going to prove each one of them. Okay.
okay if this is the case and this is successful then we're done we don't need to prove anything else that's what the sem the, with the exclamation mark says there then uh, when we prove the first B which is pro proving that it's a bird is gonna go here is gonna match this because it's no longer a, a, a clause that has a head and a, and a body it's just uh, the, the implementation of the the I mean the, the the predicate so in this case it will ask to determine if it has if, if it makes meets the condition of a bird which in this case will have these two conditions if that succeeds we go in here okay and then we prove it now if this fails then we're going to check for this one so let's execute it and see so look it's checking for the first condition of being a bird which is this so now it's expecting me to answer yes or no so here if I mean I will be successful if I say yes if I say no there is nothing else to prove and that's gonna fail so let's say that I say yes then I send it so now it's proving for the checking for the uh, the other condition oh the tweets so for bear we need two right? we need this and this so if I say no I say no looks that this fails and I'm not asking for a small so now this predicate fails I look for another option so this is my other possibility now it's asking me for this now if this fails the whole thing is my hypothesis will fail okay if I say yes it will continue now proving this part in this part I don't need to ask why because it's a fact it's already here we got this already this is already a fact there so it is true so that means this statement was was proven now the other example that I have the other example of expert system is not here I get I mean it's not in the examples from this page it's an external uh, link that I posted in the in canvas and I already copy the code so what I will do is add a program and here is where we're gonna have the rules and then uh, the way that this will be implemented is with the go so look at the difference with the previous one in this case we got multiple hypotheses so when I click on go it will go and look for a hypothesis so I have multiple possible I mean in my knowledge I have knowledge of these animals so I will see if it meets the criteria of something that I know if none of them is my last option is something that I don't know is not in my knowledge base okay so the the way that this works then when I call go is gonna call hi, the the first hypothesis is gonna be this and I will try to check on cheetah and then to this be true this is the way that is gonna be identified has to be a mammal so this is like I have this looks like I created a, a, a like frames because these are like belongs to these two classes and then it has these specific attributes so I need to check that is a mammal to check for that I had two options if this succeeds then that's it if this fails I still check this if this fails it's not a mammal then I exit I don't continue doing this and then here I should not do this and then I should go here because if this fails I shouldn't do this in this implementation we will have a way of recording the responses with the assert we're gonna keep a database of previous question in the previous implementation if we make that a larger example with the same type of uh, program that they had there they, they, they were not recording answers so in that way it will be kind of annoying for a user interface because for example let's say that I ask 10 questions about a mammal and the 10 one fails so it's not a mammal and then when I go I said let me try to and I repeat the questions that I asked here already 
and that will be uh, annoying, right? Because the user is gonna say, you already asked me these questions, why are you asking me again? So we should remember those, and that's what this has, this component about recording the answers. And I mean, and the, the assert will save it in the database, the retract will delete it in the database. The fail component here forces to look for another uh, possibility. So here is gonna retract all yes answers and all no answers, okay? So then, um, let's, let's, let's look into the implementation. So then, uh, does the animal has the following has hair? So look, it's supposed to be mammal, and then the first thing that is asking me is this. So if I say no, it's going to ask me now for the other possibility. Well, maybe I don't know that, but I know that it gives milk. Then I know that, I can answer this. I wasn't sure about that part, didn't see. So now I know this, then it goes back, and now it's going to check for the cardinal bar. So then it's going to check for the first one. It's meat. If I say yes, that succeeds. And then, I mean, if all of this succeed, for sure, the way that I, and that's part of the knowledge engineering, I mean, if I created this in, in the right way, when this becomes true, there is no doubt about it that this is the answer okay so that's what we need to put the knowledge structure in such a way that we can make the good conclusion okay so we will continue in in the next video with the uh the the notebook implementation because we didn't have time on this one